What's up guys? Got some information on the Alfa Romeo 2.9 QV engine. That's the 2.9 twin turbo, 505 horsepower engine. If you've been watching uh, Pistons and Petrol, you'll see that they're doing a swap, a QV swap into a Fiat 124 Spider. We've got the QV engine here inside the shop and I want to share some information with you guys that I think might be very important for the existing QV owners that are out there. Now I don't know how many QV owners or 2.9 twin turbo owners are out there, but this is really important for anyone with this engine des designation. So if you got the, I think it's the little SUV, the Stevia or Stevio, I may be saying that wrong, or the QV Julia, this is going to be information you guys want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of show a couple of things here. This is the PCV system. This is a system that pulls oil from the front of each one of the cylinder heads. Generates a vacuum, comes through this block. This block goes into the driver, well, I'm going to say in the US it's going to be the driver's side intake manifold. Here's what I found. Driver's side turbo. We've got, hopefully you can see that. Let me grab a flashlight. There we go. So here we have the driver's side turbo. There is a ton of oil inside of there. We tested the seals in the turbo, we pressure tested the turbo, the turbo's not leaking. No shaft play, no thrust play. So we're like, okay, maybe we have a bad you know, front cover seal. So check the front cover seal, front cover seal is good. So now we gotta figure out why we're getting an oil in one side of the engine. Well, here's what we found. I'm gonna zoom into the engine here so you guys can see what's going on. Okay, like I said earlier, this is the PCV system. Now this system sits down underneath here goes to that hole and to this hole. These are both accesses to the crankcase system. That right there is your PCV valve or crankcase, crankcase vacuum control. This all goes into just one intake manifold. Doesn't come over here to the passenger side. So when I was pouring the intake manifolds, I found that one, one of the intake manifolds was reasonably gunked up with oil. So you're not going to be able to see the oil in it because they've all been polished and powder coated and cleaned up. But this is a port for the axis for the PCV system. So I got curious. Pulled the intake manifolds off. Started looking around on top of the engine. And lo and behold, inside these runners, it's very discouraging. Now you can't see the runners, so I'm gonna bring the camera over a little bit closer so you can look down inside of these runners and you guys can tell me what you see because what I see is a lot of oil on one side and just oh, dirty runners on the other. So let's take a look. Okay, so here we have, we got the driver's side, passenger side. I'm gonna roll over to the passenger side first and we're gonna take a look down inside these runners I get the flashlight right down inside there to get the camera. See that? Kind of dirty. Not a lot of junk on the valves. Let's move over to the next one. Okay. A little bit of carbon buildup. Nothing drastic. That valve, that valve set was open. Okay. Well, there's some dirt in there. So I rubbed my finger in there, felt around. Yeah, a little bit of grum, grum, grime and grunge. So let's come on over. Sorry about the camera jerkiness. Let's roll over here. So now let's take a look on the driver's side. Now what I found on the driver's side is I was like, oh my goodness, first impression, look how clean that is. Look how clean those runners are. Wow, those are clean. But when I started looking down on the valves, what is all of that oil? You see all the, the globs on top of that? There was none of that on the other side. Look at this one. This one here, we got physical, I mean, 
massive carbon buildup. Okay. Let's see if we can get in a little bit closer. Okay. See all that oil? Yeah, top is gonna be the best, but Okay, let's come back here. Okay. Wait a minute. Well, let's just take one more close look. Get in nice and close over here. There is no oil. A little bit of carbon buildup. I don't like that, that valve right there. We got a little bit of carbon buildup on that valve. There's physically no got globules of oil. So you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, I doubt it, but let's go over this again. The PCV system goes to each cylinder head, like so. Sits up here on top of the manifold. I got some lines in the way. I might be able to. Yeah, there we go. And it goes into this manifold only. This manifold shares none of the crankcase breathing system with the engine. That's a problem. You're going to have one side of your engine gunked up, the other side is going to have no gunk buildup in it. Well, for maintenance reasons, it's actually a brilliant idea. For performance, left right bal cylinder balance, you, you're just going to have one side of your engine that's constantly getting crank crankcase blow by, and the other side's not getting any crankcase blow by. Solution We're going to put a catch can right here. Yes, we're going to build a catch can. We got left and right banks merging into one. All we need to do is build a system that utilizes both of these. I can come forward into the engine with a catch can that's a dual feed catch can, figure out a convenient location to mount it, then run this hose directly back. This is a quick connect. On the back side back here, under a bunch of tape, is just a heated hose that we can go through and we can intersect this factory rubber hose, pull this off, pull this off, have both of these come straight out to a catch can, have the catch can catch all the fluids and then shoot the hose direct back, directly back into the factory hose. That way we're not putting secondary oil, oil contamination inside of one bank of this engine. What do we get to take from this today? What we get to take is that Manufacturers are held to stringent, stringent, stringent standards that require them to do, I'm not going to say horrible ideas, but perform emission standards that make right left bank cylinder balancing out of, I don't know, out of operation. Uh, I'm sure that Alfa Romeo had adjusted inside the ECU parameters for this. Uh, I, I can guarantee you they know that they've got oil coming into one side, not the other. But what we need to do is we need to make sure that we put a catch can in your Alfa Romeo 2.9 twin turbo engine. I will be making a twin turbo catch can uh, for the Alfa Romeo 2.9 engine. I need, I need, can't very well jig it off the slot for the 124, but it would be great if we had a Julia customer local to us and be willing to bring the car down and get a free catch can. If you are a Julia customer or a Stevio customer that's local with the 2.9 twin turbo, let me know. We'll get you on the schedule, get you down here and we'll get the catch can fabbed up for your car. Thanks again, guys.